So take your review. As a review on tonight's raw episode. I watched the entire thing, man. It was some of the matches were really good. I mean it's still they're still messing with Cena and his crew. You know, the one one match they had I messed with them. And and there's that whole Brie Bella match, you know, versus uh, Brie Bella versus AJ. Another do what I do, beat her up like uh, Bri, uh, not Brie, but uh, Nikki said, beat her up like you want to beat me up. Well, yeah, everybody knows that didn't happen. Uh, I'm just starting on this match because I, you know. Previous matches were all about, uh, God, um, them wanting to beat, uh, beat Cena's crew up. Ziggler had a match, I believe, tonight. It was alright. I didn't, I wasn't too much into it, but it was alright. It was, it could have been better. But, uh, he did put up a good fight. Then the next match... If I remember correctly, I didn't get to see it. I don't know if I saw it or not. But I know the Sheamus versus Rusev fight was an entirely flipping setup. It was bull crap. He was getting dominated the entire match. We know it was going to be set up where Rusev would win anyways. But still, it, was a, it, it felt like a damn setup. And we all know that when Sheamus gets going... He didn't stop. And Sheamus was about to win the match. But then, of course, the authorities' little minions stepped in and ruined the match. Then there was that whole Adam versus Jason Kidd, which Jason Kidd with the figure, one with the, oh god, what was that lock? Uh, the sharpshooter is the sharpshooter he went with the sharpshooter we all know who his girlfriend is but he only lost because of that stupid rabbit then there was Paige versus Alicia Fox Paige won but it wasn't their best match and we all know they're gonna do a rematch eventually they're probably gonna have a match at Survivor Series that's how sometimes that goes sometimes, and that's what I'm like, okay. But, um, then there was a bunch of talk going on. Cena at the beginning of Raw, Cena you know, called out Ryback. Ryback spine busted Cena, joined the authority. I'll get to the rest of that at the end of the show. At the end of the show. Um, then, bam, happened, then the rest of the matches happened, then another match happened, oh, man, uh, that Brie Bella match happened. I wish I'd give the women more matches and cut out a lot of the daggone talk. I'm a fan of story mode, of stories, but... When the story focuses so much on played out characters such as Cena and the Authority, it gets boring. I'm saying played out because Cena's appeared in so many main storylines, it's getting redundant. And uh, so far, the most character that they've overplayed and they overhyped is Seth Rollins. And they did it to Roman Reigns, too, when he appeared out there. Enough said. They're all played out. In my mind, up here, what I'm thinking, in my opinion, they're played out. Both of them. And the guy that's getting overplayed is Dean Ambrose because he's crazy. But he's not crazy. But he is crazy. So, yeah, they're going that route and... I'm about fed up with it because I'm sick of it. They need to stop putting these guys 
in in played out things that's been played out before because we all know the Bray Wyatt situation. I know the Bray Wyatt situation. There has been plenty of people who've done it before. I'm thinking the Undertaker and the Acolytes, which was Bradshaw and Farouk. At one time his name was Farouk, but he's, you know. It's been played out. It's been done. He's trying to recruit people. And they're, actually he's trying to say he's trying to set help people. Bray Wyatt is? I mean, it's been done before. It's played out. It's just the reverse, and I'm pretty sure there's a comic book somewhere that's done the same thing. But no storylines original anymore, and it's getting rather boring with the story and stuff like that. I'm, I'm sick of it. I just watch for the wrestling now. I said, heck with it. I'm tired of hearing about Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins. I just want Seth Rollins to get his butt stomped and tossed to the curve. I'm waiting for him when he gets beat the sh out of, because I'm sick of him already. He's a talking, no-name little punk who will never amount to anything in wrestling. Oh, he's got the curve stomp. The curve stomp. Please. Please, people do that every day. People get stomped on the curve out of the day. I'm hoping, I want to see, even though I know something's going to happen, and I know it's not going to happen, but I want to see Seamus Brogue kick Seth Rollins in the head and put him out. Somebody needs to put this little piece of trash out, taking out the trash, throwing it to the curb, and stomping on it. Apparently, he tends to do that a lot, but it's about time he gets his butt served. I'm tired of seeing him win every match. I'm sick of it. Just like I'm sick of Rusev and his Russian bullshit. You know what I'm saying. I'm sick of it. Get over it, the Raw. Get over it. Get done with it. Be done with this Russian bull crap. I'm sick of hearing about Russia. There's been so much crap. With Rusev, it's almost as bad as with Seth Rollins. Because so far, ever since he's been with Authority, he's won every match. And I'm this close because of this bull crap? Because of this Authority bull crap? Because of Seth Rollins being a major player when he's a puss? Who can't even put up a fight. He gets beat up every time. He wins by this much. But only because of he getting help. And I'm sick of it. He's a good heel. But he's horrible wrestler. Okay? But then we saw Cena get a few other wrestlers. And one of the wrestlers being... Well, he's got Dolph Ziggler, which is beat up right about now. He's got Big Show. He's got my famous, my favorite, Sheamus. The reason I like Sheamus, he's not original, but he is original. He takes brawling seriously, and that's what I like about him. That's why I like William Regal. He was a straight-up brawler. Now, he needs one more player, and everybody's might thinking it might be Ryback, and I'm not too sure. He might and he might not. It could be Randy Orton. I've heard rumors of being Randy Orton. But of course, we know when Randy Orton comes back, the person he's going to go for? So if Rollins, the Viper's going to get you. He's going to put you down. And if I was a wrestler... I'd put him out of commission permanently. I can't stand that little punk. That little skinny little bitty wuss. Winning every match because of interference, actually. He never won a match. Not without help. So, yeah, I'm pretty much going for that. A lot of people are going to hunt you down, Seth. 
You got Roman Reigns. He is coming back to take you out. And when that happens, Randy Orton's next. So your little tail is going to be between your legs for the rest of your life. You might as well just, in my opinion, nobody likes you. You have hardly any fans. Leave. Take a walk. Off a cliff. And pray that you survive. But at the end of the match, at the end of the last match, Cena vs. Ryback, which was interference. There was an interference. Really with no pin. Right back. <clears throat> All that says at the end, Cena's entire team got took out. But then at the end of it, right back. What right back did? Uh, they're looking for another teammate. The authority is now. Because what right back did? The oh, the entire authority team. Uh, it was awesome. That's why there's going to probably be rumors that Ryback's joining Cena. But I'm not too sure about that. But you never know. I mean, it would be good to have Cena to have some muscle. But I doubt it. But, um... This is going to Soul Taker saying... Good luck. Good night. Peace out.